before we uh, start to type or code anything in Python, we need a place to do so. You could download and install the Python environment in your computer, but since I know some of the students taking this course don't necessarily have access to a working PC or Mac or anything of the sort, we're going to do this, or at least I'm going to show you how to do it in a Chromebook. Uh, and uh, this will work not only for the Chromebook, but could also work in a PC or a Mac environment or even a Linux environment. Uh, since it's going to be done all online. I traveled to a website called repl.it. Uh, I'll be calling it Repelit every now and again. I really don't know what the correct pronunciation may be, but Repelit it may be. Uh, so once I get here, I'm going to sign up for a new account. I already have an account, but I'll go ahead and uh, create a new one. You might see in the samples me using the one account that I create today, or maybe some of the other ones. I will pick a uh, username, which is already telling me some of the usernames I'm using. I'll, the one that I will use now will be called uh, IDT Games, IDT for our program, uh, Internet Development Technologies. Uh, my email, I will, I have access to an email that could be IDT Games at my domain. Uh, and I'm going to give it a password that I can remember. Be sure to save your uh, I, your email, your um, password, and everything that relates to this uh, site, either by really truly remembering it or writing it down and setting it aside. I recommend you write it down so that and put it in a place where you won't lose it, and uh, you'll always have access to it. Because I'm a teacher, I'll go ahead and say that I'm a teacher. You don't have to do that. I don't know what fabulous uh, extensions I may get because of that. Not many. This is a pretty basic program. It will allow us to get through the class, though. So I'll sign up and just give it a couple of seconds here, if not maybe three or four. And then I get into the first screen. I will ask it to save the password so that at least while I'm doing this video, while I work in this on these series of videos for the next few days, it will remember me in my Chromebook. Uh, what's my skill level? Well, if you are just getting started, there's no shame in saying that you're just poking around or you're brand new. Uh, or if you have already used uh, some programs before, and by that I mean use programming languages before, you can say that you have some experience or you're very experienced. I'm going to say, for example, that I have some experience because although I can program in several languages, I don't do it every day. Uh, what am I most interested in? And they're just getting some data from you. So I am interested in learning in a school or institute. You might be doing the same. You could also be a self-learner. I'm going to uh, mark myself as that as well. And I, in teaching, sharing programs with a community, I will click on that in case I do have some code that I want to share with you. And then I'll click next. If you don't put anything in there, I think that that will work just fine. What languages are you primar primarily interested in? For this class, I am primarily interested in Python. So I'm going to click on that and just leave everything else for other classes. I now scroll down a little bit, and I think that I'm just about ready to get started. I don't see a complete button, so I can see, oh, there it is. It's the next button right there. See what happens when I click. If nothing happens, then I'm going to assume that we are ready to go, and I'm going to click on the blue button on the top right and create a new REPL. This new REPL will be in Python. And at this point, I'm going to give a name because this is my first sample. It's a printing sample. I'm going to call it print sample. And I can, I really want to avoid using spaces in the names of files. I don't know that it will be too much of a difference, but it's a good practice to just not use spaces when naming files, when naming variables, which you will learn about later. Uh, so I'm going to do print underscore sample for the name of the program. I'm not going to give it an extension because it already knows it's a Python program. And these are going to be public files. So 
I would need to upgrade the account to get private files. That means that you have to pay for it. And for this class or any of my classes, please don't pay for software. I will create the REPL and it has been created. Now I see the um, IDE, the development environment that REPL offers. Basically everything is running inside of the browser. And I have a list of my files on the left. I have the main.python file in the middle. This is where I'm going to be coding. It will allow you to click here to show some samples. And then on the right is the uh, command line interface where things will appear. It's telling you that it's logged in on a Linux machine and it's ready to run your programs. So although we will be talking about this later in class, I'm going to start out by giving it a comment and you comment in Python by typing a hashtag, a tic-tac-toe, a number sign, whatever you want to call it. It's got a proper name, but I forget what it is. And say, this is my first Python program. Although I may not say what it means in class, because mostly I have younger students who may not understand Python is named for Monty Python, the comedy group. So I put in a comment. This is my first Python program. Nothing appears anywhere. Not, I haven't run anything. That's just me saying to myself that this is my first Python program. And my first Python program, as it's common with many programming languages, will be to tell the computer to say, hello world. My print command, P-R-I-N-T, I will type. And then uh, you'll see how it's starting to help me out by saying that, you know, what I can do, I can put in a value, I can put in all these other things that I can work with. Uh, for print, I'm going to start by uh, clicking in and typing in a uh, parentheses. It opens the parentheses and it closes it right away. It gives me more information about the print command because I'm printing a uh, string, which is a series of, of letters, words, etc. I'm going to type in a double quote and tell it then, hello world, inside of the quotes, exclamation point. Now that that's typed, I can either keep on editing this file and tell it to print hello world or again, or print something else and just say print uh, inside quotes as well in the parentheses. This is the uh, game 1403 class. Maybe I'll put in a hyphen inside. Notice how I'm typing the string inside of quotes in both of these lines. You will learn how to concatenate, how to put together these lines so that they read better. But for now, all I want is to run the program at the top, click on that, wait for a couple of seconds, and then the uh, Repolit uh, website will actually show me what's going on. Hello world, this is the game 1403 class in two lines because that's the way that we did it. I'll show you how to, like I said, put all the text together, how to present it in games as the course goes along. I'm not necessarily going to invite more people right now to come and see, but when you do turn in your um, files, that will be another video. I will show you how to, uh, how to save your file in your REPL account and then share it with me. If you have completed the hello world without any errors, make sure that uh, you go to your menu on the left, the hamburger menu there, and uh, look at, go to home and tell it to show you your profile. Here is my IDT game account on top. I'm gonna click on that carrot, carrot pointing down, click on profile. And you'll notice that it, I get the address REPL.IT IDT games because this is my username. Whatever username you chose, that is what you're going to see up here. Uh, make sure that you go and you copy the uh, URL on top or cut it, whichever one you like, and then turn that in for your first assignment. Uh, and that will be your first grade. It will let me know that you are ready to uh, create new files and that uh, you have an account and uh, the URL will tell me where to find your files and where or what you're called in REPL. 
We'll see you in the next video.